Bismillah, elhamdülillah, ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in, thumma emme ba'd. Every person likes to get rewarded. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala understands that, knows that, created us like that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives us the rewards in Jannah, for the things that we do here, and we get rewards also here. The rewards that we get here, some of them we know in advance, and some of them we don't. The rewards we get are based on obedience. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you to do something, and if you do it, you get the reward. Let's get an example, Salah. In the Salah, what do you do? You stand, you say Allahu Akbar, you read the Fatiha, you do the Rukur, and you have to say Subhan Rabbi al azim and then Sami Allahu Liman Hamida, then Subhan Rabbi al ala you cannot change, and you cannot delete, and you cannot shorten. You have to do it exactly the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants as He showed us by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is a command that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded on everyone. fulfill the command, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to reward you? He told us about a gift that He subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us when we do the salah. One companion, after the prayer, he was making a dua, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard. Ya Allah, أسألك بأنك أنت الله الواحد الأحد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد أسألك أن تغفر لي ذنوبي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت Look at the dua يا الله I'm calling upon you You are the one the only one Neither begins nor begot. I ask you to forgive my sins because I know no one forgives or can forgive the sins except you. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, Qad fa'alt, qad fa'alt, qad fa'alt. Three times. I already did, I already did, I already did. He forgave the sins for that dua that he did when, before he went, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Read the tahiyyat, Salat Ibrahimiyya, you make the dua, you seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from hellfire, the grave, the trials, and the lejjal, and then you make the dua. Look what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, your gift, is to make, if you fulfill the command, you pray the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to pray, He gives you a gift at the end, you make dua the way you want. No conditions. It's not like it has to be in Arabic, or it has to be one exactly from the Sunnah, any way you want. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ثُمَّ لِيَخْتَرْ مِنَ الدُّعَاء after you do all of this, then the gift is for you. Choose from the dua, whichever dua you want, that you like, or a dua that you pick to choose. Look at the beauty of this. You submit, here is the reward, and we know it. And it is guaranteed acceptance. 
How guaranteed? As guaranteed as the protection of Prophet Musa alayhi salam when he went to Fir'aun. Can you go and talk to a president right now? Just go there and walk and start stand in front of him? Can you do that? Anyone can do that? No one. No one can do it. How about if you're a criminal and they're looking for you? Would you go do it? Would you go like, not only go, and go and ask him for Islam, to become a Muslim? Impossible. That's what Prophet Musa السلام, was asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do. He's running from Fir'aun because by accident he killed that Egyptian and Fir'aun is looking for him. Now he has to go and tell Fir'aun, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Fir'aun is saying, I am Allah. Wow. He said, oh Allah, I'm scared. He's going to kill me or do something to me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, I hear and I see you. Just go. Fir'aun is in my hand, my command. He cannot touch you without me allowing him to touch you. Just go. Look at this story. Prophet Musa alayhi salam face to face talking to Fir'aun. Fir'aun is asking him a question. It's like, oh, well, 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 look who's here. No, and we're looking for. No, he stopped actually answering his questions and asking questions. What happened to the crime? Forgot it. Just like Abu Lahab forgot to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah to prove Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is not telling the truth because the Quran says Abu Lahab tabbat yada Abi Lahab wa he's in hell and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said if you say la ilaha illallah you go to Jannah so there will be contradictions all he has to do is to say la ilaha illallah and then he will prove that Muhammad وسلم, is wrong and the Quran is fake and all of that did he say it? no because that tongue will not move without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How about his friends? All of those friends who hate Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who know that la ilaha illallah puts him in Jannah, they couldn't come and say, hey, why don't you just say it? Not a single person even reminded him. Why? Because he subhanahu wa ta'ala controls everything. Maybe that's why when I ask you to always start by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salam of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, regardless what your speech is, Quran, Islamiyat, science, history, whatever, you know, like like, like the other day when uh, uh, this young man, uh, Thayyil, uh, what's your name, Muhammad, when he came, and he did that ISI, ISI uh, wonderful song. Did you notice what he did? He started with Alhamdulillah and he ended with Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ask me why. Because he got used to it. It's like breathing. You don't need someone to remind you to breathe. When you do something, when you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time, you get used to it. It's impossible for me, someone, to give me something and not tell them Jazakallahu Khairan. Muslim or non-Muslim. Without thinking, it just comes out. Jazakallahu Khairan. Why? Because you just get used to it. And that's the idea, is to get you used to doing good. And to get you trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like Prophet Musa alayhi salam penetrated the security on the army of Fir'aun and stood before him and nothing happened to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do the same to you. He guaranteed for you a dua after every salah. When you stand in the salah before you start and you are ready and attentive and you do it properly, you get that dua. You can ask for success in the school, for grades, for health, for your mom, for your dad, for 
whatever you want. Prophet Muhammad said, you choose it and make the dua. Look at the wonderful gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us. Few people who know it and few people from those who know it use it. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you here, just ask and you know he gives. Why don't you ask? Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.